Uh. Hey guys, back with part five. Are we on five? Oh my god, we're on five. Ugh. Okay, so part five. Let's start out with some Tomislav Tomic. So I have Villain San. Very intricate, detailed book, but so pretty. So pretty. I've seen so many gorgeous pictures colored in this. Um, these are one of the ones that I can't wait for, both of his books. And then Dramenvanger. Now, Dramenvanger is uh, Zelmia, Zelmia Snova, Zelma Snova, something like that, you know. Um, but same thing, real intricate, beautiful paper, though. Um, now, this is the Dutch version, and the paper is kind of cream-colored. I don't know in the other version if it's cream-colored or not. Um... But this is the version that I have, and I love it. The paper's really super nice in both of these books. Love it, love it, love it. Just leave it alone. Okay, so then next up, I have the Momo Girl books. First book I have is this one. I believe this one is Girl with Poem. And super cute. I did one picture out of here. That's this one. Um, I did this with uh, all ink tents. Uh, the face, though, was done. The skin was done with Prismacolors. And all the little hearts in the background. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're kind of shiny. Um, I did with the Paul Rubens uh, Shimmer paints. Super cute book. And then, of course, I have Girls with Music. Uh, I have not colored in here. Now, I do like this book a lot. I love these darker images. You guys know me. Or if you've seen my channel before, you guys know that I like these darker images. Um, which, to me, is fine. Like, it makes up for the cartoony ones that are in here that are just kind of weird. But I'd still color them. I'd still color them. Um, beautiful, beautiful artwork, as always. Love these books. Okay, so next are some little peanut books that I have. So this is my Botanic Pocket Book of Coloring. And I mean, you guys can see, it's really, really tiny. Um, and it's just all little botanicals. This is my um, to-go book. This is my, when I first started coloring, my practice book that you see those hot messes. Um, but yeah, they were just, you know, it's just fun. The paper in here is not bad. Um, it's not Amazon paper. It's thicker than Amazon paper, but... Uh, it's not bad for just an on-the-go kind of book. So next up, I have Gods and Beasts um, by Adam Fisher. And uh, this is another book that I really like that I have not colored in yet. Now the paper in here is on the thinner side. Um, but cute, I shouldn't say cute, cool, off-the-wall kind of images of all these Gods and Beasts. And it gives you a little snippet of all of them down there. Cute, cute book. Okay, so then up next I have Escape to Oz by the Good Wives and Warriors. Really cute book. Um, I said they're all cute because they all are cute. I guess it just depends on um, what your style is, what you kind of like. Me, I'm kind of a mood colorist. You know, I have to be in the mood to color certain things. So this one's super nice too. And I love the little roses. You guys know me in roses. Okay, so next up on the agenda is uh, Rita Berman's Under the Land. I think that's called something like that. I can't. You guys know I'm not going to say that. Uh, now, this is the second copy that I have of this book. My first copy is my to-go copy that I got as Happy Mail. Um, and that's always on the go with me. And it's in my to-go bag right now. That is not here because I left it somewhere and I'm so sad. But I did order another copy um, because I do like the images a lot. And I want to color some of these on stream. So super excited. Okay. This is a new book to my collection that the lovely uh, Shannon Chopin Hayes got me. And love these images. Now this is uh, Amazon paper. But... Those puppies 
Oh my God, are they adorable. I do like the portraits in here too. The faces, uh, the symmetry, I really like. So there's that one, Starry Night 3. I want to get one and two because I don't own those yet. So this is another one of my off the wall books that I got at my Dollar General. Um, I got it for $3. It's the Outside the Lines collection. So it has part one and part two in this book. Really weird. Um, all these artists come together and they put in a compilation of all of their art. Some of the art's really avant-garde. Some of it's really abstract. Um, these are the books though that I like to journal with. I told you guys that before with my treasury books. Um, some of them are just really weird, but like these little stick people, although they're stick people and these little hearts, I'd color them and I'd cut them out and I'd use them in my journal. Um, I got, you know, there's some dot to dot in here or connect the dots. Is that what it's called? It's dot to dot, I think. Um, really weird stuff. I do like this picture with all these little mischief looking cats. I don't know if you guys can see those, but they're all like mischief looking um, but I like, I like the doodle pages. I like coloring the doodle pages. But like I said, some really weird images. Um, so this is outside the lines too, is all in the back. Like this back here is all outside the lines too. I like these too. Um, and then in the front is all outside the lines one. Again, by different artists that show their different styles. But it's all single sided. The paper is comparable to Amazon paper. Like that's just a black square. Some of them are like this one is cut out these glasses and you can um, make stuff. Uh, we got another one that you can cut out and you can cut out the eyes if you wanted to or whatever. There's so many different little things in here that you can do activities and coloring pages and things like that. Um, but these kinds of books, if I see them really cheap, I do pick them up because I do use them for journaling. Whether it's, it says risk, I can cut that out, put that on a journal page. Um, things like this, I can just use heads, you know. It's about getting creative. So, Outside the Lines. Love that book. Especially for $3. So, I have one Bennett Klein book. And it's Color My Sketchbook. And I love Bennett Klein. I just don't own many of his books. Um, and I have yet to look on Etsy to see if he sells PDFs or not. Because uh, if he did, I would love his PDFs. Like this picture, beautiful, gorgeous. I want to scan this in and I want to color this. Same thing with the octopus lady. Um, the peacock lady, if I ever get off over the fear of the peacock feathers, oh, most definitely. Um, but yeah, Bennett Klein's work, I'm a big fan of. I just don't have much of it. So, next up is I have a Helen Elliston book, Inky Whimsy. Uh, really uh, cute book. It is just a lot of line art, a lot of different, you know, things in here. Again, on Amazon paper, of course. Um, but yes, she has a lot of these whimsy ones. I think there's like Garden Whimsy and Inky Whimsy and whimsical. I don't even know. There's a lot of the whimsies. Whimsy, whimsy, whimsies. Okay, so next up we have Fantasy Kingdom by Juliana Emerson. And this is again another Amazon book. Um, and this book I did get, it was on one of those like flash sale deals. Uh, I got it for the purpose of journaling, but then there was pages like this one that really caught my eye. And I probably still journal with it, but I like, you know, the rose and the globe and the girl and the, you know, possible galaxy or night background, depending on what I wanted to do. But yeah, another cute book. All right, so then next up I have The Look. I got this book off of Book Outlet for like a dollar something or two dollars. Book Outlet is my number one place to go to to uh, see what kind of goodies they have. Watch out, baby. But yes, these are cute. You know, you get a little bit of the fashion. You get a little bit of the, you know, practicing skin tones plus the city um, scenes in the back. Some of them are one-sided. Some of them are two-sided. Now, the paper in here is not um, super thick. It's thicker than Amazon type paper, 
but it's not very thick at all. So I think that um, colored pencil would be okay with here. Water based markers only because some pages are double sided. But yeah, another one, another one, another one, another one. Okay, so next up is um, Casey Gilmore, Fantasy and Mythology. I bought this book because I seen some of the pictures done in here that were just gorgeous. Once I got the book, I was a little like, I, I don't know, I was kind of intimidated by it. Like I like the artwork in it. The paper is Amazon paper. Well, it's actually Create Space paper. This paper is Create Space paper. Um, which I like the Amazon paper better than the Create Space paper. And I don't know if it's the same thing, but it feels a lot different to me. Uh, but and in this book, you know, you could throw your markers at it because most of them are single sided with these blank sheets in between. But yeah, really nice images in there. So next up is we have Carla Mangana's. Uh, now this is the only book that I have by her and it's The Dark Garden. I've seen a lot of people do these images really cool. Um, I know that Pickle, a uh, little Pickle, if you guys know her, the sparkly princess of our community, she loves Carla Bangana. I mean, loves, loves, loves. She uh, just released a video not that long ago finishing an entire book, not this book, but an entire book of uh, Carla Magana's work, and it was stunning. Okay, so next up is this book. The Mysterious Library, um, and it is the paper super thin in here, and it's double sided, but it is cute, and it, like almost every single um, page is a double page spread, like it all goes into a story. And guys, please excuse my, I always, I don't care if they're magazines, I don't care what it is, but I always flip from back to front, I don't know why. But yeah, this is a whole storyline, and uh, it'll be fun to color. I want to get the Colin Thompson's, the library one, is one that I really want to get, because I don't know why, but I, I want to sit and color in all those books one by one. I know, I'm weird. All right, so next up, hmm, this book. Well, this is by Alice Von Gotha. Uh, it's Alice's Cabinet of Curiosities coloring book, and I bought this book on an impulse buy. The cover I thought was really cool. The title was kind of interesting. I read snippets about the book. I could not find a flip through. And well, here I am with the book. And I didn't return it because I can be creative with it. And I know that I can. Uh, it was just weird and unusual. And I think some people will like it. It is Amazon paper. Um, I think some people will like it. Others will be like, mm, yeah, not my cup of tea. Uh, when I opened it, I was like, what is this? Like, it's kind of weird. But as I kept flipping through it, I did find a few images um, that I was interested in, like this with, like, the dying rose and the dying lily uh, on the, the bones. But, yeah, most of it is just... But I will get creative, even if I have to cut it out and turn it into something else. So there's that book. Like I'm sure my friend Sabrina can find something with that book and do something wonderful with it. I cannot. Okay, so next up we have Christmas Fairies by Amy Brown. <clears throat> I love this book. I think it is cute, cute, cute. I don't have a lot of Christmas books, so this is one that I'm looking forward to coloring because, well, I like fairies, and it's Christmas. Okay, so next up is A Dark Side of Fairy Tales, and this is um, kind of a doodle-ish, horror-ish fairy tale book. Um, I don't know all the fairy tales in here, or I can't I should say I can't figure out all the fairy tales. And, like, I wish it would tell me, you know, 
um, which was which on here because I have no idea. Um, but they are really doodly. They're kind of busy. Like that's Hansel and Gretel. I mean, you can tell that by the little gingerbread house. Sleeping Beauty. Like I said, some of them you can tell. Some of them I'm like, mm, yeah, I have no idea. So there's that one. Dark Side Fairy Tales. Alright, so next up is we have Surreal Fantasy. Fantasy. And uh, I do have Xander here with me now. This is one that I started. I never finished it. Um, with Black Widow. So I got my little cheat sheet up here. This is one of the very first ones I got. Now I did do... I do like the art in this book. I did do this one. Now there is two of every image in here, of course. Um, it is unusual artwork, but I do like it a lot. Alright, so there's that one. Next up, I have Magical Fairies, Enchanted Pixies to Color and Display. This is all illustrations by Deborah, Deborah Mueller from the Zen Doodle Coloring. Um, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with Deborah Mueller's work. This is just like a compilation of some of her stuff together. Another book outlet find for a couple of bucks. I always pick them up. So, uh, Creative Haven. My only Creative Haven book as of right now um, is Naturescapes. Uh, I bought this book to journal with, like that was my goal. I seen, I was over at Dee Dee's today, and she was flipping through one of her journals, or her art journal things, and I seen this picture, and I'm like, oh, I have that picture, and it was glued into her, or taped, however she does it, into her journals. So I was like, oh, I have that one. Um, and I know that she had did some uh, collage with some of these little clownfish here, and the anemones. But yeah, so a lot of these books like this that have a repeated image in it over and over and over, I buy just for journaling reasons, the Lunar Moths, um, so I can just cut them out and use them. Alright, so next up I have um, Lisa Mitrokin, Mitrokin, I don't even know if that's how I'm saying it, but this is town, this is her, this is her greatest hits. Um, the, again, Amazon paper. Uh, I do like the images in here. Some of them are a little um, weird, which I like, like this little seahorse girl. But it's not going to be for everybody, that is for sure. So there's that one. Okay, so next up is Barbara Lanza with Fairy Lane. I do like this book. I want to take these. I want to copy these so I can just use them over and over and over. They kind of remind me of like the Cabbage Patch Kids. You know, they were always in their little cabbages. Like that's what this one reminds me of, just a, a fairy version of it. But for some reason, this page just screams journal to me. So I do want to copy this so I can use them over and over. But I do like the fairies in here. I think they're really pretty. I like the florals. You guys know me, the botanicals. Um, I do like. This one's super pretty. So, there is that one. Next up, I have Color the Classics, The Snow Queen. I'm not sure how I feel about this book yet. Another one of my... This is really nice paper in here, though. But this is another one of my book outlet impulse i had to reach 35 dollars get free shipping this book like put me over i needed like two dollars and some odd cents this book was like three bucks i just uh i don't know how i feel about it quite yet some of the pictures i really like like this one i really like 
And sorry if the light's kind of going in and out, in and out right now. We have this, I want to be a really sunshiny day to I'm going to be gloomy and rain all over your parade kind of day. Okay. Next up, my only Misfits book. I just got this one not that long ago. This is number one. I, this is the only one that I own. Never colored in it yet. Everybody keeps telling me that I need to color in a Misfits book. So, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I got a Misfits book. May says that Misfits are great to watercolor in. So, I might just try that. I don't know. Um, but they are cute. I do like the artwork in them. And this is one of the ones that I'm going to want the whole collection. I can just tell. Because uh, I can see myself coloring a lot of different things in there. In the gothic kind of style that I like. All right, so this is Fairy Tales Doodle Adventure by Ronnie C. Pios. Uh, this was actually um, from the lovely Faithful Mess. Uh, this was at one, in one of her rack, uh, random act of kindnesses. She had set some books. Xander loves this book, so this is a book that I let him play with a lot. Uh, but it's just doodles. I love doodly books. Love, love, love them. I don't have many of them. There are a few that I want to get. Like, I do want to get the Kirby Roseanne's doodle book really bad. But this is something that I can just take into bed with me and just color little bits here and there. But yeah, super cute book. This is one that uh, I'm going to say Faith had started because it was in there when she sent it to me. And I just think that it's cute and that'll always stay in here and it'll never get finished because every time I see this page, I think of Faith and her family. So, Fairy Tales Doodle Adventure. Okay, so this is another one that I got at my Dollar General, my $3. So this is Fantasy um, Mythology Advanced Coloring. The paper in here is really nice, actually. It's kind of thick. And some of the images in here are really cute. Again, journaling page. So yes, there's that one. I get a lot of my books at the Dollar General. I'm always looking to see what they might have. Um, and if I find a couple that I don't have that I like, um, you know, most of the book, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Or if I know that I can color, you know, 30% of the book, but that Xander likes the other, you know, 70% or even 50%, then I'll go ahead and get it. So this is Dreamlings 3 by Edwina Mac McNamee. This is the only Edwina book that I have. Um, it's really cute. I got this book when I started coloring and I've never went back to it because Well, I just I don't know. I don't know why I started uh, Playing around with this when I got see I threw some markers in here um, I was trying out different mediums to see what I could do. Uh, I never went back to this book after I Played around but I need to because it's super cute Okay So this is another one that I got from my Dollar General, a $3 book, uh, Tolkien's World, a fantasy coloring book. And if you guys don't know, this is uh, like Lord of the Rings, The Little Hobbit. And each, you know, down here it does say, that, you know, this is a silent watcher from Lord of the Rings. This is Frodo Baggins, so that's who it's supposed to be is Frodo. That does not look like Frodo. FYI, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan, so it does not look like Frodo. But I'll forgive it because Frodo is my guy. That's supposed to be Gandalf. But it's still a nice book. Aragon, Aragon Legolas. Uh, I do like the paper in this book. Like this right here. Like I want to watercolor this. As soon as I learn how to watercolor a little bit better. But I do want to watercolor this whole scene. Because I think it would just be a fun practice page. With all of this stuff. But not really having to get into fine detail. Or skin tones. Ooh, skin tones and paint. Not there yet. Uh, but yeah. A lot of fun in this book. And if I ever find another one, Bilbo Baggins, if I ever find another one at the dollar store, I will pick it up. So this way I have a couple of copies to play around with. Another one that I'd like to tackle with watercolor, especially up here on these mountains. Um, maybe put some snow caps on them, play around with those things, do a nighttime sky. So yes, yes, yes. Alright, the next book I got is another 
book outlet special and you can tell it's kind of bent right here but this is Edgar Allan Poe uh, another book that I think that I was expecting something different it's not a bad book I just was expecting more pictures than like the filigree wallpapery kind of stuff but like I said it can always be used for journaling and if you guys have never started journaling um, you don't even have to journal just get you uh, I'll show you guys the one that I have um, just get you a book, a sketchbook, a mixed media book, anything that you want. You can even use a composition book. And in your coloring pages, especially, you know, I'm sure that you guys all, like, I do like this picture. But I'm sure that you guys all start coloring a page and then you're like, yeah, no, that page isn't working for me. But you like, you like this section that you colored? Cut it out. Put it in a, put it in an art journal. I will leave the link to my journal if you guys want down in the description. But, like, this is the one I use. I need to decorate the outside. Like, I already got paint all over it. And this is just a hardbound book. Um, that's about, we'll say, four of my hands. <laughs> that's how I measure, you guys. Like, this is all my Paul Rubens um, paint. Like, after I unpeel them, like, little pieces of uh, candy, I put them all in here. I cut out my little Paul Rubens guy and the little tag. I, you know, I put in a little quote that says, Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Um, it's a quote by Picasso. Uh, but yeah, so this is what I do. And then as I'm doing stuff, you guys can see, like, this is some of my jelly plating. So I'll just slap it in this book. Some of the, I had unicorns left over, so I threw the unicorns in here. This is another one. I had this piece of paper piecing left over. This is my uh, Distressed Ink test page. So that's what I do in this book, you know. Um, I never do the front page. I'm always afraid of the front page. Uh, but, you know, and I did learn something from Dee. This is another one, Distressed Ink, that I was just playing around with. And it all goes in here. And then if I mess up a, a coloring page, I just cut it out and I'll slap it in. And I'll come back and, you know, do, play around with it. I, you guys know that I always stamp my pages. So afterwards, I just um, dab my ink off in here. And then I have extra stamps. Dee Dee did say, though, if you're going to do something like this, um, always, you know, work in the front a little bit flip to the back, work in the back a little bit, flip to the middle, work in the middle, go back to the front, back, middle, kind of do it evenly so this way your spine does not warp on you. But this is what I do with all my stuff. I already have one completed. This is a, that's one of my newer ones. Okay, so this book, let me actually, because I was not prepared, let me grab a post-it note real quick. And I'm going to just do like this. And I'm not going to flip through this book. Um, it does say something a lot different than, because I covered it up. Just for, uh, I do like kids. I gotta, guess I got to put my hand over that because I just seen what that said. Um, I do let kids come and watch my show. But this is uh, a book with all of these. Look at, I can't even, I can't even cover it up, you guys. Look, there, there's just stuff everywhere. Um, I'll just go real quick with this. But there's, you know, there's all these little characters in here. Um, that say really bad things, but it's a, to me, I got that book to, I colored up a picture, and, you know, if you guys have those close friends that you can joke around with, uh, that was actually something that on a holiday, um, a few of us family members colored in. That's just how my family works on holidays. Okay, so then I have Dominion of Giants uh, by Eric Messinger. Uh, super cool book. I mean, it is a cool, cool book. It does give you, like, color ideas with their picture. I say go with your own thing. Do whatever it is that makes you happy. If you want him to have a purple face, make it a purple face. And then in the front, there's, you know, the colored images. Um, it does give you uh, coloring the face with markers, coloring the rest of the piece, you know, a little color wheel, color terminology, things like that. Little tips from the artist. So... Next, I have Epic Journeys Coloring Book. And this is another one. Now, some of these books, you guys, I've had for a long time, and I've just never colored in them. Like, I would get them, and then I'd be like that little, you know, like, oh, wait, hold on, there's that book over there. And so then I would have to go get that book over there, and I would forget about some of these. This book right here, I got way back um, in October, November, when I started coloring. Um... 
but it is a cool book. Like that was all from Larry Elmore. And here you got a different artist's uh, pages, Mark Nelson's, and then so on. But yeah, super cute. Jeff Easley. And that's what these books that I'm showing you now, a lot of these ones that are coming up and that you've just seen um, are books that are just like that. They just um, are ones that I've had for a very, very long time. Like since October, November, they kind of sit on my bottom shelf and they need to be recycled back into the mix of things. Um, this book, Dragonology, uh, it's such an old book. Nice book, never colored in it, I really want to. But it's been a shelf dweller that needs to come out, come out and play. All right, so next is just add color Fairyland. Fairy um, if you guys were following along with my Magical Jungle uh, thing, you guys know that I used fairies out of this book um, for my page that I cut out and I glued to my double page spread with my fake moss. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, but yeah, this is another book that I use for journaling. I mean, look at all those little cute little girl fairies sitting on rocks with these little flowers. Color them up, stick them in a corner, stick them in the center, paint all around them, do whatever you want to do. Yeah, see, so this is the page that I cut out, as you guys can see. I sacrificed the image on the back. But those are the fairies that I cut out. to do this. So those are all those little fairies there. And I just popped them on there and then I did use my um, Extreme Sparkle Maj Paj. I don't know if you guys can see all the, you can probably see more shiny than glitter, but there's glitter color covering both of these pages and that's how I pretty much stuck my fairies on there. Um, now Maj Paj is not something that I would recommend using like in your desk journal. I don't. I use matte medium or I just use a glue stick because this stuff like I could still feel that it's still kind of it's just sticky and things stick. But yeah so those are this is what I use this book for. It's just add-ons or journaling, um, paper piecings, things like that. She's really cool. Next up is Christopher Hart's Girls. There is one page in here that I either ripped out or still in here looking like a hot mess. But I think I ripped it out like it was bad. I like that page. But they're all your anime manga style girls. But it was a little, it was a girl kicking a whole bunch of soccer balls. Um, me and Xander were having a play in there and it was just not good. Now this is a book that I got not, um, not too long ago. And this one I actually had sitting on my shelf in front of me here. Uh, and so I figured I would pull it out and I would put it in this mix of things since these are my bottom shelf ones and this one I haven't really moved from that shelf. So I need to get this one and put this on my upper shelves. Super cute book. I'm just going to flip through it fast because some of the images are pretty racy. Um, love this book. Love this image here. Yeah. Okay, that one I want to put to the side because that one does not go on my bottom shelf. Here's another one that I've had for a while. The Best Adult Coloring Books by Preston. Um, I have some of his other books. I'm just in the midst of looking for them. I think I have them in a box when we moved things. Um, from one room to the other, I don't know. Uh, very eccentric art. Um, it's an acquired taste. I like this kind of art. I like the darkness of it, the dark grayscaleness. I think that's why I like the Carolina uh, Kubikowska books so well because she has that dark style. Here's another one. I don't know what they are. I just draw things by Fred von Tobel. Really kind of weird book, all on Amazon paper, of course. But they're just weird images that I like. <laughs> I just need to color in them. You guys, I need to color in these books. I do like that picture. That picture right there is the one on the front cover. Oh, 
Okay, so next up is Llewellyn's Shadowscapes Coloring Book. I like this book. I was expecting the pictures to be a little larger, though. Like, I wish they were a large to take up the whole page. Um, because some of the details are very, very tiny. Like, some of them aren't bad, but some of them are super intricate. I do like that picture a lot, with the little bubbles around all the trees. So there is that one. Okay, so this was uh, a prize that I had won over at Grace's, the Chibi Zodiac. Now I'm getting to some of the books that I just got in recently with Happy Mail. Um, I like this book. Oh my God, are they adorable. Little Chibi Girls. So cute. Amazon paper, of course, but I have no problems coloring on Amazon paper. It does not bother me, and if I want to do the image, or if I know like Xander wants to do the image, I just scan it into the computer and I print one off for him. Or actually, I don't even scan it into the computer. Like, I just scan and print right then and there. Okay, another one that's Happy Mail. You guys probably seen Xander color um, one of his in this book. I know you guys aren't all big fans of this book, so I'm just going to flip through really quick. This is Demons, Ghouls, and Zombies by Marty Joe's Coloring um, that Sharon had got for me. And I love it. I do, I do, I do. Alright, so we're almost done with this. And then after this, you guys, I think I want to do have one more part. One more. And then that'll be it. Uh, so this is Juliana Emer Emerson. Oh, I should have put this with her other book that I have of hers. And eh, it's okay. So Lovely Flowers. I, this is the book that I am going to, um, I want to scan and shrink and I think these are some of the ones that I'm going to send to you guys on the ATC cards. Because I do like that they're in vases. They're presented very pretty. I love florals done by good artists. And they're not, like, everything doesn't look the same. Like, the leaves aren't all the same. The flowers aren't all the same. It's all, you know, different. So, love that one. This is another one that I got from the wonderful Kathy. Um, that I'm working on. I did start. This is a coloring book of cards and envelopes, flowers, and butterfly by Rebecca Jones. So back here are your envelopes. See, I just distressed ink them. Um, and you, you rip them out. They tell you how to fold them. You see you cut along the gray line here. You fold them into your envelope. And then over here you get your postcard ones or your card. So you color the image. This is the back of the card so it folds in colored for you by you can you know sign your name and then on the inside you can write a little note if you want to color it up and uh, put it in your envelope so super cool fun 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 stuff oh okay two more three more Yes, three more, and then we're done with this segment, you guys. So you guys know my color manga book. I love this book, the Monster Manga Coloring Book. Uh, I'm going to do a quick flip through. There are some racy images in here that might, you know, people might be offended by. So just real quick, you guys know that I did the hip hop one in this book. Um, but yeah, cool book. Cool, cool book. And the paper in here is phenomenal. It is thick and great. Okay, so this one is World of Fairies by Sarah Burier. Burier? Burier. Um, Amazon paper. But I do like the faces in here. What you need, honey? A water brush and a spray bottle? There you go. You gonna go watercolor? Okay, go ahead. But yeah, pretty fairies, you know, in these outdoor kind of scenes. Gorgeous book. I really like that one. And last but not least, you guys seen me coloring this one with my Crayola and my alcohol markers. 
and girls in ancient a ancient asian fashion by queenie Yong wong this is a picture that i colored in april um distressed inks and then this is all crayola over some markers and then i did put a little bit of um the i have my spica pens and so i put some glittery stuff in her hair there i don't know if you guys can see that or not but this book is on Amazon paper, but I find that, you know, sometimes on paper like this, throw down a marker base and color pencils go over it like a dream. And there is that one. So guys, for today, that is it. Um, I got one more segment to video and it shall be over. We'll see. So has anybody counted yet? I'm curious. I'm not counting. I don't, I, mm -mm. I don't, I don't think I want to know a number, but all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and putting up with my self and my books. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next, uh, video. Bye guys. You want to say bye Xander? Bye.